What up, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Facebook, SoundCloud, SoundCloud. It's your boy, Tone202. And I'm going to read some scripture because I'm going to talk about the Giants and who they were, so on and so forth, because I think there has been some misconception. But nonetheless, uh, let me read this and then I'll go ahead and do some more talking. Now it came, uh, this is Genesis 6 and 1 in the American Standard Bible. Now it came about that when man began to multiply on the face of the earth, the, the land and the daughters were born to them. It says when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, daughters were born to them. Uh, that the sons of God saw that the daughters of men were beautiful. Now, okay, so it's saying there's two different races here. They're saying there's sons of God, then they're saying that there are men and the daughters of men. Okay. And the sons of God saw that the daughters, uh, daughters of men were beautiful and they took wives for themselves, uh, whoever they chose. So it says that they took wives. <clears throat> it didn't say that they, you know, uh, just, you know, took a woman and, you know, made it with them. It said that they took wives. They married them uh, for themselves. Uh, and then it says, uh, then the Lord said, my, my spirit shall not strive with man forever because he is also flesh. Nevertheless, his days shall be uh, 120 uh, years. Once again, differentiating man. Okay. Uh, the Nephilim were on the earth in those days. And also, and, and afterwards, when the sons of God came into the daughters of, of men and they bore children to them. Okay, I'm going to read that again. This is verse 4. The Nephilim were on the earth in those days. And also afterward, when the sons of God came into the daughters of men and they bore them children to them. Those were the mighty men who were of old and renowned. So, okay, the sons of God uh, had uh, uh, took wives of men and the Nephilim was on the earth in those days and, and they were the mighty men who were of old men of renown. Okay, so I'm just going to say this. I do not think that it was the angels who made children with uh, man. And I'm going to say that for a few reasons. For one, uh, Adam was not the first person on earth. Uh, we just found out that there was a man walking around three point something million years ago. The story of the Bible is only 7,000 years old. Heck, Lucy is uh, way older than Adam. There were ancient dynasties here long before Adam got here. Adam was an Adamite. He was part of a whole. Uh, so let's get that it together. And this is also in the book of Genesis. I just haven't read it because I want to talk about... Uh, the giants. So Adam was an Adamite, meaning uh, uh, he was a he was a man, and there were other men already here. Okay. So also in the Bible, I don't know what scripture it is, but it says uh, when God was talking to the angel, He says, "What have I called you, sons?" So it was not the angels who had children with the uh, women of men. It was another race. It was a whole another race. And you gotta understand when, when, when God was talking to uh, Satan and he asked him, where did you come from? And he said, I came from to and, to and fro, uh, roaming to and fro, you know, on the earth. Uh, he When he presented himself to God, there were also men presenting themselves to God. How did they do that? Spiritually. Satan is a spirit. He can, of course, embody a body, but nonetheless, he is a spirit. When we present ourselves to the Lord, and we do, and you can do this all through the Bible, we do it now. When you, you don't have to go to church to do it, but when you present yourself to the Lord, the Lord always, he, he, he always tells you to present yourself. He says, present yourself a living sacrifice. Look, you don't have to go and knock on God's door in a physical body to be in the presence of the Lord. 
God tells you all the time that where there are two or three in my name, so there I am with you. So you are in his presence. Let's get that straight. So our spirit can, God says spirit will not always start with man. Our spirit can present ourselves, our souls to God. So let's get that straight. So back to the giants. The angels uh, uh, did not come in to women. There was a different, there was a, a another type of man. And we know that there's Neanderthals, there's, you know, bipedal, you know, I mean, there's all kind of uh, types of man. We know there's Cro-Magnon. I mean, we, we, I'm not a scientist. We know there's all kind of men, you know, large men. And now we know, we also know that there was a race of giants here that was here on, on the, uh, during those days and uh, after the flood. So here, here's what happened. Those giants that were here before the flood did not survive the flood. What they did was the, the same men uh, or sons of God, uh, once the earth started to repopulate, the same thing happened. And we have these race of giants who are here now. We have the redhead race of giants. Uh, I mean, there has been trolls seen up in Norway, but the redhead race of giants, these are the ones seen in Afghanistan. Um, and and uh, there's skeletons of them all over the place. And now the army has ran into one of these uh, uh, giants and actually killed one. And of course, it killed one of them. This thing was, they say, in between 10 to 15 feet and it weighed 1,100 pounds. They had to use a helicopter to, rate, to, to get it off the ground. And they said it moved with speed and agility that they were not used to. So this creature was not someone that had giant, uh, giantitis or giant, giganticism or whatever that is from the pituitary gland and it makes people big and slow you know they're huge or seven eight feet but they're slow and they can barely walk no just, just imagine somebody 15 feet tall i mean you take the ceiling of your room which is eight feet and then you add on another what six seven feet you know you got somebody 15 feet tall and can move like a football player imagine the speed of that but we need to we need to make we need to have a full understanding that we're not alone. We never have been. We, as far as who we are, we are Adamites, okay? Like I said, Adam was here 7,000 years ago. And basically what Adam did was, uh, well, what God did was God wanted somebody to be like God. So he was like, I'm going to make you Adam and I'm going to separate you from those other people. And basically what those other people were doing is if you read about the giants and the other people that walked the earth during that time, they were seriously into lust, into uh, all kind of evil things. They were influenced like the devil. And eventually once God gave Adam a woman and a, a basically what she did was she ate from the tree. The tree was knowledge itself. And those people, those other people that God did not want Adam to be around, she went and started being around with them. And basically she had a, she, what she did was she slept with the devil and she had a baby by him. I mean, you gotta read them. You gotta, I know it sounds ridiculous, but it's true. But she had, she had a baby by the devil and she slept with the devil and she was deceived by him. And uh, so basically you, you read into that story, but nonetheless, so, I mean, when you get into the giants and try to figure out exactly who they were and why God did not want them around, it's because of what they practiced. They practiced evil. They practiced uh, sacrificing people constantly. They practiced a lot of bloodlust. They were influenced by the devil. But nonetheless, to say that these creatures were not here, but, nonetheless, but everybody reads this Bible, and I mean, everybody on the planet has a chance to read this Bible, if they want to. And just completely ignore the book of Genesis, which is the first book, and say that these giants are not here is just preposterous. That's just ridiculous. 
if they were here before the flood and then after the flood, it's a good chance that they're still here. So I just wanted to cat to, to to just talk about the giants and you know you're not gonna hear this at your regular church because they're too busy trying to take your money and you know a big old song and dance that God has nothing to do with. But nonetheless, uh, it's very real, people, and the government is hiding this from us. And um, we just need to wake up and we need to really read the Bible for what it is. And we need to read it line upon line, precept upon precept and cut out all this nonsense uh, and try to fool people with the scriptures. And also, there's more than one Bible. There's one holy word of God, but there's more than one Bible. So uh, giants are real, people. They're very real. And do not be surprised if you see one here very soon. Like, I mean, you're going to be in shock because of how big it is. But we've been telling you for the longest time, we're not alone. We never have been. Aliens, angels, same thing. Those creatures are here. And they've been here long before we have. Should we talk to them too?